I yield, I yield. I know when I'm beaten. <laughs> that was a fine flanking maneuver, Dennis. Indeed. Though next time, watch out for twigs. We can hear you all over the forest. And what manner of knave has the young prince Valiant bested today? Oh no, Sir Gawain. I'm not pretending I'm Valiant. I'm an even mightier warrior today. Oh, then you must be King Arthur. No, even mightier. Today I am Raymond of Longport. <laughs> Raymond of Longport is, uh, he's a tournament fighter. I know, the best in the world. I wish he'd come to Camelot so I could see him fight. Well, perhaps you can go with Valiant to Longport and see your hero there. But Gwen, I have no business in Longport. That's not what Merlin says. Trees? Well, these look like no trees I've ever seen. Precisely why I arranged to have some shipped here. Just as Arthur had hoped, our collection of plants is creating the promise of new foods and medicines for Camelot's future. The trees arrive at Longport in four days. Arthur wishes you to go in my place to receive them so that I might finish this experiment. I shall leave at once. Oh, your enthusiasm surprises me, Valiant. Some might think this a minor assignment for a knight. No assignment from Arthur is ever minor. Besides, a trip to Longport will make a young friend of mine very happy. Going to Longport, there'd be nobody there, lads. And lass? How can that be? We're to meet a ship. No ships till tomorrow, lad. It be tournament day. Everyone be at the far grounds. Tournament day? Is is Raymond fighting? Aye. Why do you think everyone be at the far grounds? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd be late myself. Could we go too? Please, Valiant, please. Okay, well. Since the ship doesn't arrive until tomorrow. I see from the emblem you wear that you're from Camelot. I've long admired King Arthur and his successes in battle. His success is not strictly limited to the battlefield. I insist you be my guest for dinner. You cannot refuse. <laughs> and I expect you to be there as well, my boy. I'll send word where to meet me. This wasn't a good idea. Why, Valiant? Do I detect a note of jealousy? Certainly not. What reason would I have to be jealous of a, a tournament fighter? Oh, Raymond spoke to me. Obviously, has more important things to do than to keep his. Look, it's. Shh, my young friend. We can't let the others know I'm here. 
And why the need for such secrecy? Valiant, you saw the crowds today. Raymond would be mobbed if he didn't disguise himself. It is indeed a burden to be the best. Why, I remember once when... But what is this? A simple bowl of stew? Bread and fruit? Nothing more? I see I must show you how to order a proper meal. Now this is a feast fit for honored friends. Eat, eat, it's all on me. And though both my legs were broken and the ice on the river was cracking beneath me, I jumped upon the bear's back and... It's quite a bit you've run up there. Who's the lucky one to pay it? Uh, bring that to me. And I... Oh, dear. It, it's Raymond. <laughs> Look, everyone. Raymond is here. Oh, Raymond. Oh, I want to have what he's having. Oh, let's come again tomorrow. This must be the best inn in Longport. Your dinner's on the house, sir. My business will double now that you've been here. Offloaded the trees? At Raven's Rock? Why? Well, so we made a mistake. But it's easy enough for you to fix. Raven's Rock is only a three-day sail away. We'll have to return to Camelot at once. Raven's Rock is a pirate's haven, and it's not going to be safe for us to go there without reinforcements. But we're going to lose so much time. Merlin said he needed those trees right away. Why don't we hire Raymond to travel to Raven's Rock with us? He'd be worth ten men at least. I, I don't know. There's something about him I just don't trust. Well, he seems honorable enough to me. Did you see the way he deliberately dropped his hood last night just to get a free meal? Surely that was an accident, Valiant. You shouldn't be so hard on him just because, well, you know. Because what, Arne? With no one to care for them, Merlin's trees may be dying while you two are wasting time bickering. I'll be pleased to travel with you. Yeah. Then, uh, this will be your payment. Uh, instead of gold, Valiant, get me a meeting with King Arthur. The round table is just the place for a fighter of my caliber. It takes more than mere fighting skills to join the round table. We can talk about it later, after the job is done. You finish here. I'll make arrangements for a ship. I suppose we can use this to buy our provisions? I can take care of that. But only if my young friend, Dennis, assists me. Me? Help you? Really? Sweet rose. You there, Baker! In a moment, in a moment. A lad, hold open the sack. That sure do it. Raymond? Was it right to just take the sweet rolls? I'm Raymond of Longport. Of course it's right, lad. Really? People want to give me things. Now, how about some nice sweet apples? Uh, she's too busy. Take as many as you want. But I don't think I should... You're a friend of Raymond's. She'd want you to have these apples. Believe me, I know. Well, if you're sure it's all right... Uh, 
That's my lad. Be sure to save one for yourself. Go ahead, enjoy it, boy. You're with Raymond! Well, at least Merlin will know why we're delayed. Prepare for open seas. Our next port is Raven's Rock. your trees they are and you must be the harbor master I am I am and from the looks of you you must be a knight of the round table I'm surprised that word of Camelot has traveled so far oh long have I wished that King Arthur's just rule might also travel to this distant isle oh. uh, but enough pleasantries to business let us begin with how much you owe for the rental of my peer you would charge my friend for such a thing and who might you be Raymond of Longport. Uh, yes, uh, I see, I see. So, about my fee. Go help the others, Raymond. I have business to discuss. <sighs> Valiant is a fool to waste such effort on a handful of sickly trees, don't you agree? No, I don't agree. All these trees need a proper food and care. Pa! All a tree needs is water, light, and dirt. Trees are trees. Once you know which one makes the strongest jousting lances and the straightest arrows, <clears throat> what more do you need to know about them? Isn't that right, Dennis? I, I don't... All the arrangements are in place. The harbor master's crew will load the trees on our ship at dawn. We struck a fair price for the rental of the pier, and the harbor master was even kind enough to suggest an inn where we might stay for the night. Keeper, my friends and I demand your very best rooms. All my rooms are good rooms. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the best it is. I said I wanted your best rooms. These are my best. Don't you know who I am? No, I'm afraid, sir, that I don't. I've had enough. I'm going to find a place where they know how to treat a hero. Uh, Raymond, wait, I I'll, I'll go with you. No, Dennis. Raven's Rock is not a place for a child at night. Tell us, Dennis. How did Raymond buy all of our provisions without spending any of the gold we gave him? Most everyone just gave things to him. But sometimes, sometimes we just took things when no one was looking. Hmm, it seems his hood coming off at the end was no accident after all. Raymond said that people want to give him things. A gift is something freely given. What Raymond did was stealing. And you should have known better. You should have said something. Raymond said it was all right. Dennis, Dennis, wait. He is just a child, Valiant. And finding out your hero is not worthy of respect is a hurtful experience. You're right. I was too hard on him. Dennis? I'm sorry, I... Dennis! 
this. Raymond, wait for me. Get away from me, boy. But but I'm your friend. I'm Raymond of Longport. I don't need friends. There's nothing you can do for me, boy. <laughs> Innkeeper, bring me a feast. You call this food? This is nothing more than swill. It's the best we have. Ah, best. Ah! This shouldn't be fed to swine, much less to a man like Raymond of Longport. I don't care who you are. You get out before I call the Orb of Gods. Ah! After tonight. They'll remember my name all right. Valiant! Look! The sky! The inn! Wait! You can't leave me here. I have tournaments to fight, audiences to please. No one is above the law, Raymond. Not even famous tournament fighters. But you don't understand. These... these people don't know who I am. But they know what you are. Perhaps that's something you yourself will learn in time. Excellent. A job well done. How can you say that? The trees have... they've all died. No! Look closely here and here. And will these new shoots grow to be as big as this? Mm, too soon to tell. We can give them everything they need to grow strong and tall, but then the rest is up to them. <laughs> Isn't that right, boy? Yes, Merlin, that's right. 
Hi, before we leave, could we go to the market first? I suppose so. But why? I have a debt to pay. I'd say that takes as much courage as jumping onto a burning building. I'd say it takes more. I hope this is enough, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh, not so fast, lad. <laughs> Here, take this one as a gift. What great hero do we have here today? One of the greatest of them all, Dennis of Camelot.